Hello, my beautiful MK Love fam, and welcome back to another episode. And if you're new here, my name is Mel. I make videos every Wednesday and Sunday, helping you to learn to love yourself, flaws and all, trust your intuition, and to manifest your heart's true desires. Now, along my beautiful spiritual awakening, where I learned to heal my body, my mind, and my soul, there have been five books that have literally changed my whole flipping world. And I wanted to take the time to share them with you today because this is a very highly requested video. Oh my gosh, I meant to be, I should have made this video like two years ago, but I didn't. So today I've taken the opportunity. So for all you beautiful souls that have asked, this video is for you. So my first book, now these are not in any particular order. My first book is You Can Heal Your Life by Louise L. Hay. I read this book, oh my gosh, I would say probably about 10 years ago, and then I listened to the audiobook. I'm particularly fond of audiobooks because in particular when the author reads their work, because you can feel that love being infused and it's just so delicious. You Can Heal Your Life is such a beautiful book. It talked about the power of the mind, the power of affirmations, and a Louise L. Hayes A to Z metaphysical guide, which you find in the back of the book. This is, I have it on my phone. I refer to it so often and it helps me identify areas within my body where there may be pain or a client or a family or a friend, whatever it is. It helps to identify something that is going on in the body because your body manifests illness and disease, which correlates to maybe the thoughts that you're thinking, or I would say mainly it's to do with thoughts. Um, so it's interesting, if you're holding on to a lot of pain, it'd be interesting to see where that manifests into reality. And nine times out of 10, it literally correlates with what's going on in that person's life. So that is a massive book that literally changed my life. So that is You Can Heal Your Life from Louise L. Hay. Book number two is The Five Love Languages from Gary Chapman. Now I made a video about this probably about two years ago. I highly recommend that you read this book. It helps you identify how you receive love and how you give love to other people. It's literally a game changer. It doesn't matter if you are single or if you are in a relationship, this is a book that I encourage you to read. For me, my, my highest, well, my top priority love language is quality time. You can spend time with me and we can have the best time ever. And that literally means more to me than you showering me with gifts or saying, oh my gosh, Mel, you're so amazing, or whatever it may be. There's actually a quiz. I'll check the link in the description. Um, I'll link you to the old video and you can also watch that too, because I go further in depth about this book. Um, and there's actually five love languages for children as well, and also ones for married couple, one just for men. Oh my gosh, there's so many different versions of this book. Anyways, click the link in the description, check out the quiz, because it will help you identify what are your love languages. Like we all have five love languages, but some are more important than others. Book number three is The Amazing Power of Deliberate Intent by Esther and Jerry Hicks. This is the law of attraction book that was like a massive game changer for me. I loved it for so many reasons. Number one, it talks about the emotional guidance scale. I speak about this constantly on my channel, talking about vibrating on the frequency of love. That's where all your beautiful desires happen. And then down to level 21 or 22, which is in fear and depression. And it helps you identify if you're at this level, okay, that's great that you're at that level. What can you do to move up one level? You're not gonna go from fear to loving yourself within a day. You know, that takes time. I also love this book because it gives you practical actions. It's where I learned about the $100 challenge where I keep literally $100 in my wallet and it helps me feel abundant. I played the $100 game the other day and it totally worked because what actually happened was I was shopping in H&M and I was like, oh my gosh, every time I go to H&M, it reminds me when I lived in London, walk on Oxford Street and ah, there's all these beautiful clothes. Anyway, it just reminded me of that. So when I was shopping, I was like, okay, I tried on clothes and it's so interesting because I used to be like three sizes bigger. So I used to have trouble finding clothes that made me feel beautiful. And now I just love my body. And it's like that Jesse J saying, I love my body, I love my skin, I am a goddess, I am a queen. Like I love my body. 
you know? And it has taken me a long time to love my body. So when I went into the dressing room, I had 10 items. Every single item looked friggin' amazing on me. This is one of them. Like, look at this cute little flamingo. Oh, I don't want to show you. Oh, I've got a bra on anyway. But like, this shirt totally sparked joy for me. And I put it on, and I was like, yes, like, I feel good. Da -na 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 -na. You know, it just felt so good. Anyways. I had a number of clothes and I was like, well, I need this, 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 and this, but I want this, this, and this. And the things that I want, because they were not a priority, but they made me feel really good. And I was like, I'm gonna visually spend that $100. So there was another top and there was like this um, spring kind of jacket and I really wanted them. So I pretended in my mind that I literally went to the counter and I purchased them, which is crazy because within 24 hours later, I went to that shop and I purchased them. It was crazy. And it just, I don't know, that book is just amazing. It teaches you practical steps. It's not a book like, this is what you do and this is what I've done. It's like, this is the steps you need to follow. So that book was absolutely amazing. Book number four is Big Magic from Elizabeth Gilbert. Now, if you are an entrepreneur of any kind, I cannot recommend this book highly enough. There have been so many times where I've chatted to you guys in the comments and some of you are saying, oh, I'm, I'm gonna quit my job, Mel, I'm gonna do this. And I'm like, oh, dude, don't. Read Big Magic first. It literally makes you feel amazing and it makes you feel like you are not going crazy. It makes you feel that, that the entrepreneurial journey is such a diverse journey and it looks so different to all of us, but there are a number of principles that she shares that's just amazing. Like when she talks about the analogy of fear and going on a road trip with fear and that you're in the front seat with your friend, but fear can literally sit in the back seat and fear cannot get to the front. It cannot tell you which direction to go. It cannot control the stereo, but it can be there and we just say, Fia, we are so excited that you were here, but you know, thank you so much. But you know, I have this from here and it's so beautiful, all the different analogies that she talks about in that book. So yeah, big magic is definitely on the list. And the last book is, da, 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 it's How Not to Die by Dr. Michael Greger. This book revolutionized my vegan journey. I'm not too sure if you know, but I eat a whole foods plant-based diet. That is literally plants. Anything that is grown in the ground, I eat them in their most natural state. It makes me feel amazing. The book talks about in part one on the 10 leading causes of death. Now this is all backed by the latest in evidence-based nutrition, which totally blew my mind. Then in part two, he talks about the daily dozen. So he's like, okay, this is why people get sick. And he talks about different foods to how to help you, but it's like, oh my gosh, you need to eat this, 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 and this. Part two, he simplifies it all into 10 things you need to do and eat every single day. And there's an app called The Daily Dozen. I've actually made a whole series, like probably two years ago on my channel. I'm not too sure if you guys know, if you just followed me and you just knew. For the first two years of my YouTube channel, it was literally dedicated to showing my transition on my journey to become, I was actually a raw foodist. I didn't eat anything cooked because I learned that that was the fastest way to heal the body. I since do now eat cooked food. Um, and it was just such a beautiful process. But that book, How Not to Die, literally changed my life. So if you were thinking about like, you know, maybe you don't want to become vegan, but you want to feel better about yourself. And I actually can tell you that when you become vegan and you eat plants in their most natural and unrefined state, you, be, you it's like the fastest way to become spiritually enlightened. It helps you connect with your higher self. It gives you your confidence. It gives you vitality. It makes you happy and it helps you learn to love yourself. There are so many things I cannot recommend. You can become vegan and you can be unhealthy. Like, yes, it's great for the planet. Yes, it's great for the animals, but you can be unhealthy. Like for the weekend, I went away for four days and I ate vegan food that wasn't whole foods. You know, I didn't do a poo for like two days. And normally I do like two to three. So it was so interesting, the difference of when you're eating a high fiber diet and you're eating processed. Anyway, I can talk about this for hours. How Not to Die, I highly recommend you check that out. So let me just go through that list one more time to help you out. Book number one is You Can Heal Your Life from Louise L. Hay. Book number two is The Five Love Languages from Gary Chapman. 
Book number two is three is The Amazing Power of Deliberate Intent from Esther and Jerry Hicks. Book four is Big Magic from Elizabeth Gilbert. And book five is How Not to Die from Dr. Michael Greca. Well, my loves, comment below and let me know which of those five books have you read. And if you have any recommendations, comment them below because I would love to, to hear from you. Oh my gosh, I'm a massive fan of audiobooks. Um, and I just love churning through them. At the moment, I'm actually listening to You Are a Badass at Making Money by Jen Sinkit. Jen Sincero and oh my gosh literally changing my life I love it so anyways my love thank you so much for watching please if you haven't already subscribed hit that subscribe button and the bell because that when you hit the bell you're going to be notified every single time I upload a video if you don't hit that bell you're going to miss my videos because YouTube have changed their algorithm and it is actually really important that you do that now Without further ado, my love, I will see you on Sunday for a weekly angel guidance update to let you know how you can deal with the energies associated with this moon phase. Anyways, my love, I love you and I will see you on Sunday. Goodbye.